So this is going to be the GitHub repo for the tutorial. And as I was saying, this is going to be a hands-on session. So if really you don't want to hear me, you can do everything just with the GitHub repo. It's a really detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use, how to install Singularity, how to build containers, and how to start playing with Singularity in the cloud, right? So the idea is that I'm going to be giving some pointers and uh, I'm going to be passing by and doing a hands-on session and seeing if everyone can do what I have here. So this is a hands-on session tutorial, not me just here speaking. <laughs> so everyone here? Before coffee is all the way onto your building, right? Your thing, okay. So, install. On the install, I want to speak because the AWS instance is already installed. For those that does, doesn't have Singularity installed, but you can install in your Mac, in your laptop. So I'm going to be giving a quick step-by-step So Singularity 3.x series is rewriting into Go. So for those that last year were Singularity users, this year Singularity has been rewriting into Golem. So last year the 2.x series was a Python bash, C, C++ mix. In order to play well with Kubernetes and all the cloud native technologies, we decided to rewrite Singularity in Golang. So the first dependency that we need to sort out for solving Singularity is Go. In the afternoon, Kenneth is going to tell us how to remove this step with Easy Build. Just installing Go with Easy Build. But for now, it's just easy as a W get from the Golang repo. It's a binary, it's not a big deal. These are the needed dependencies for Singularity. It's not that big with the current Wi-Fi speed. It should take one or two minutes. So if someone is stopped doing these steps right now, or you guys already have Singularity installed? Do it. So the idea for this tutorial is that we're going to be playing with the 3.x series of Singularity. So if you have a 2.x series of Singularity, I really encourage you to try the 3.x at least for today. So if you have a 2.x in your laptop, please get into the 3.x series. While well, you start Singularity following these steps, as this session is called Installation Best Practices, one of the biggest questions we get from Singularity system admin mostly is, can I install a single version of Singularity and just share it through the NFS? We highly do not recommend that. We recommend having a single Singularity installation per host. We see people using Singularity with a share, in a shared file system, so on, like a single Singularity binary across an NFS that has some bugs and mostly when you're playing with MPI, it can go wrong. So we highly, highly encourage as a top best practices, do not use NFS for Singularity. The Singularity binary, right? You can use containers in the NFS. Here I'm speaking about Singularity binary. Please do not install Singularity in your NFS. So in this step, Here. In this step, we always recommend this install for Singularity. So this user local is really for your laptop. Here in, the, in your infrastructure, it's going to be the place where you store your regular binaries. So my recommendation here is please do not set this to be an effect. Right. On this build, on this build instead, on Singularity documentation, as I was talking before, there is now a way to choose if you are going to install Singularity 
as a set UID workflow binary or a non set UID. When I say non set UID, it's by using namespaces. For doing this, you need a, I'm going to go high, a 4.1 kernel and above. If you are running a 3.x kernel, Sorry, we cannot support a non set UID workflow. We still need to go with the set UID. Right? This is not because of security, this is because the kernel and what the kernel support for you is the three point something kernel. So, why security still uses set UID? It's because on the HPC side of things, we still have people using two point something kernel. Right? And the namespaces there. They were just toys, so it's hard to support them. So that for in order to use non set UID full name spaces, you need to go at 4.1, 4. something kernel. If you if you look in Google, GitHub space, Bogo space, easy build similarity, this should be the third one for you. So everyone that is able to see this cow in their terminals. Yes, you go to the coffee break. <laughs> uh, really, if you can see the cow, you have to like this toy in your house, so now we are all good to play. So if you cannot see the cow in your terminal, please raise your hand. There's something happening there and we need to fix it because the next session is going to be a lot about containers, playing with containers, moving around containers in your house. And really the cow is like the low level one on one with some like There you go. So if you already have Simulite installed, you should run this command to see the cow. More questions? Oh, but do you have the GitHub there? It's, it's much better if you just have the <laughs> And also, so the, my idea with the GitHub is that you can just copy and paste, copy and paste, and you don't have to be typing everything, right? As I said, this tutorial is updated by me like monthly, in a monthly basis. So if you don't want to hear me, you can just go step by step and it's going to be the same experience. This tutorial is updated by me every month. Every new feature of Singularity, I go and update this tutorial. Yeah, this is a, a, a good top eight comment. Please just use the Wi-Fi in your laptop, not with your cell phone. So that way we are not splitting out the Wi-Fi into laptops and cell phones. Maybe we can get more speed by doing that. Yeah, with more people jumping into Amazon, the ones that are still playing with the laptop here, it's going to get a little bit faster. Okay, so I'm going to wait some time. So the ones that already saw the call, I'm going to invite you, so we wait some time, to go into the Scilabs cloud web page. <coughs> okay, so it's cloud.silab.io. If the guys already seen the cow can jump in that and sign into Silabs. So why this? For the next step, you're going to be signed up in, with a user created so you can start moving around containers via the library. This is not going to play nice. <laughs> Everyone going into the web browser. <coughs> Do we have like different Wi-Fi's? No.
questions as we deal with the Dwight Palace page. I need everyone to move at the same speed. <laughs> Bear with me. So the idea after you sign into the Scilabs Cloud is to request for a token and store that token into your home account. So if you are in Amazon, so you do it in the Amazon home, or if you are in your laptop, it's on your laptop, right? So if you are in Amazon, the token in your laptop is not going to work. You need to put it in the Amazon. So for, for the people already in Amazon, so the way you place the token in, in your Amazon home, so type singularity that just show. It is going to show you all the CLI commands. There is one CLI command called <coughs> rem remote. That remote command has a sub-command called login. So you just pass the token into that and it, it creates a it configures your singularity in your home. So you just type singularity that just show up and it's going to take you step by step. Again, once you have the token in the clipboard and you type singularity remote dash dash help. It is going to take you step by step. How can you place the token into your singularity? And singularity is going to take the token into all the 